Uh, this one's about uh, taking the day off work. Hey. I was out hunting wolverines, I travelled the new yellow submarine. I was in Narnia attending a party. Ferris Bueller's got fuck all on me the day I took off work. I won the lottery several times in a row, bought a motorboat and a stately home, invested in Marmite and Toblerone for some strange reason, placed a bet and then lost it all the day I took off work. I saved the world from an alien invasion, then discovered the key to matching socks, I managed to cure all of my trepidations, and then I found Madeline McCann in a jack-in-the-box the day I took off work. Racing through minefields, navigating through asteroids, I administered a marriage between a cowboy and his horse. They're now on their honeymoon, they sent me a postcard, the day I took off work was a continuous Mardi Gras. I built a time machine out of the fridge, I helped Led Zeppelin right a comeback hit. I hear forced Teddy blowing up that damn bridge, I managed to make Lego and Mega Bloks pieces fit the day I took off work. I tripped the light fantastic and burnt the candle at both ends, partying from dusk till dawn until the glow sent me round the bend. I awoke in an alternate universe where Cobain and Ian Curtis never hailed that hearse, where a red light means go and a green light means reverse. Tell me, sir, does this sound too absurd when I tell you what I did on my day off? With a twist and a shout, I restored Atlantis. I got the Ark of the Covenant back from the Nazis. I flew around the sun and massive running in slow motion. The day I took off work was filled with commotion. Life is a dream and that says it all. The day I took off work was a splendiferous, manic, unbelievable fucking ball. Cheers. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Well, uh, seeing as our poets are soppy bastards, I'll do a romantic one. This one's called You're Never Alone With A Hand. <laughs> <laughs> this has got me kicked out of most places, so you'll probably never see me again here. <laughs> when you're in the mood, but she's not broody, don't get upset, have a five finger party. When you're overcome with passion, but she's on the rag and not wooed by your proposition that you'll go around the back. Just cradle your balls and work the shaft, cause you're never alone with a hand. When you're on a dry spell and I'm not and I'm nearly for months and the horizontal disco doesn't ease those headaches of hers. Lower your blood pressure twice a day, keep your hand in a bag of rice. Get your kicks your own way to ease those lonely nights. Go on a crusade of self-harm, cause you're never alone with a hand. Become a renowned lover of your own practice. Face off the one-armed man with the wrist of elastic. Don't sit there broken hearted when she's spurns your advances. Just check the door before you molest yourself to avoid any embarrassment. Become inseparable with your palm, cause you're never alone with a hand. Any woman could be yours, any dog would fetch, but when you're on your toe, grabbing the devil by the horns works out best. Nobody knows better, and nobody touches you like yourself. Train that iron grip of yours for the betterment of your health. Spend some time with your favourite gland, because you're never alone with a hand. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one, um, I, were at, I can't remember what open mic night I'm at, but someone like pulled me aside and told me I had to write a poem about crisps. So this one's uh, called Space Raiders, if I can remember it. Cloudy swirl burning a hole in my stomach from too many pints and lactic cigarettes. I need bulk to level my insides as I sigh upon realising that they've run out of pork pies. What crisps have you got? I drunkenly inquire as my guts groan like a death metal choir. There's deep fried Cajun squirrel flame grilled possum with ginger spice. I'd be happy with ready salted rather than dorset cream and fusions of rice. What happened to salt and vinegar? These new concoctions blag me head. Is it too much to ask for a bag of Space Raiders instead? Culinary fusions for three quid a bag when all I want is a little snack. Nothing fancy, nothing debonair, 20% crisp, 80% air. Peking duck with hoisin sauce is too much for me. I'm accused of, I want something simple but I'm accused of being too fussy. Sauteed donkey and deli sensations make me feel sick as I consider popping to the office for some frazzles or chip sticks. These newfangled delicacies can't appetise my needs. I'm a simple man with simple taste. Can I just have a bag of Space Raiders please? Cheers for having me. <laughs>